What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Orca Slicer. This took me a hot minute to figure out how the heck to download this and install it. So if you Google how to download Orca Slicer, some links come up and you come here. This is a tutorial, but honestly, I just got super confused. I eventually found the link, which is on github.com. And what you have to do is you have to scroll down Keep scrolling because this page is super long. What we need to do here is find the assets section of this post on github.com. And I'm just, as you can see here, I'm just scrolling and scrolling. All right, so here is the section. Well, actually, that's not it either. So yes, what we need here is Orca Slicer version 2 official release. And again, I'll throw a link to this page in the description just to kind of like help you. This is where you need to be, where it says contributors, the support assets, this section right here. And what you need to do is find which installer you need. I'm on Windows and so I just picked one of these, which is the Orca Slicer Windows V2 portable zip. I downloaded this file and if you're on Chrome here or wherever, whatever browser you're on, you need to find your downloads. And then all you have to do is double click the installer here. And I need to approve all of this stuff. Next, next, I agree, next. Orca Slicer, yes, please install. This is just gonna take a minute while this installs. But yes, this is how you find and install the Orca Slicer so that you can start slicing things and get to 3D printing, man. This was tough. Please consider subscribing. See you in the next one. Peace.